Hey all, welcome to my channel. Uh, for those of you, uh, this is a quick review. I watched episode 7 of Only Murders in the Building, season 7. Um, if you like my content, like my videos, like my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please like so that I know if I can focus on content of reviews and such. Um, and of course, please read, I'll leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Um, so I reviewed the show. I watched the show, I mean, sorry. And episode 7, Cobro. If you saw my original, some of my original videos, or uh, past videos, I mean, about uh, Only Murders in the Building for season three, I wasn't too keen on the season itself because it felt like it was boring, and I realized, all right, you know what? It's going to be the same thing, and chances are it's probably going to be the brother. Uh, I thought maybe the brother and Tobert, basically, uh, to, or Tobert, Tobert, however you want to pronounce it. Um, but now, as of episode seven, they brought into the brother as a suspect. I'm like, great, that throws me out of the loop. So I'm like, all right, that throws not me out of loop. I mean, throws everything for a loop because usually they never have the suspect, uh, the killer already has a suspect until towards the last two episodes, basically. Um, so I'm not sure what to say about this. Um, the fact that Matthew Broderick was on it, another great actor, and I felt the writing wasn't there, honestly. I, I, I mean, at the rise, I know what they're, I, I know they're doing their best, but. It felt they could have done more with Matthew Matthew Broderick or MB as we call as they call him, uh, you know, great Broadway star and uh, actor. But and the fact that I saw Mel Brooks, I thought felt Mel Brooks was going to be there physically, but the fact that they did it on Facetime is great. Sorry, I sh uh, it was a, a little bit of a spoiler alert if you haven't seen the episode. But in any case. Um, now everything's thrown for a loop for me as far as who do I think did it. I honestly still think maybe it's still Tobert. Tobert is involved for sure. Tobert, Tobert, or Tobert is involved for sure. Because the fact that like you know they're saying Dicky, I'm like, damn, that means Richard. I'm like, damn it. But it's a possibility that because Richard was basically getting some money off of him, but it seems like based off everything that was going on in that episode of Cobra, I was like, all right, you know what? They're trying to push us towards. Making it look like it's to uh, a dicky, but in reality, it's not. Uh, it looks like it's it's going to be someone else. Um, I think it's the the person that you least suspect. I mean, it's the cliche that they've done in the past two seasons. I have a feeling it's going to be Tobert in this case. I mean, I did mention Tobert in the past for a couple of times that he was going to be that you know probably co-conspirator with someone else or co-murderer, however you want to call it. Uh, but I would say this, it's more of a case of like, I think it now more and more, it's looking like maybe it's Tobert to the point, or Tobert, more to the point because he was a fan of this, the podcast. Uh, and, you know, nothing's ever, nothing's really pointing to him in a ways. The fact that they had left the scene where uh, Dickie had bought uh, the handkerchief that um, Ben was holding only provides that provo proves that the writers are trying to push you into thinking that it's the brother, but in reality, we know it's not. So I have a feeling it's going to be Tobert, or Tobert in this case. Uh, maybe with someone else, though. I have a feeling it's going to be with someone else. I just don't know who exactly. But it was whoever wasn't there in that building, per se, or who was in that building that knew the building well enough to know where to go, go around and get around it, basically. Um, but again, I'm sticking with Tobert. It's got to be Tobert because we've already eliminated Mel Streep's character. Well, I've already eliminated Mel Streep's character, and I've eliminated Dickie's uh, the brother. So now it's going to have to be Tobert at this point. I was originally leaning towards uh, the brother and maybe Tobert together, but now look, it's looking more and more like Tobert himself, basically, from my perspective, based on the cliché of all other TV shows that are out there for crime and murder dramas, basically, or dramedies, however you want to call it. But in any case, I'm going to go with that. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I do read my comments when um, I do get notified about them, and I do respond to them when they warrant a response. Uh, with that, I'll leave it at that. And again, I thank you for those who have uh, subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed but you love, like my videos, like my content, like my channel, please subscribe if you haven't. And with that, I'll leave it at that. Unfiltered, unedited, and of course, unrehearsed. Until next time.